Hello, this is Tisha Dalton, the suffrage singer. In this year, 2020, I received a grant from uh, New York State Council on the Arts and Lower Adirondack Regional Arts Council to create 40 suffragist tea cozies. And they are currently on display here at Crandall Library in Glens Falls which is currently not open to the public. So I also have an online exhibit and the online exhibit is at crandallibrary.org. But I'm here showing you some of the uh, tea cozies. Here we have Eleanor Weatherhead Higley and Emma Hayes and Betty Wakeman Mitchell, Anna Lewis MacArthur and Laura Schaefer Porter. They were all Washington County suffragists. And down here we have more Washington County suffragists. They were part of the Easton Political Equality Club, which is one of the first political equality clubs to form here locally in 1891. We have uh, Emma Skiff Becker, Lucy P. Allen, and Chloe Sisson, and Lydia Dwell Hogue. Over to this side, we have some Clinton County suffragists, and Clinton County is um, north of here, and Plattsburgh is the biggest city there. We have um, Marion Ingman Parkhurst and her sister Marie Parkhurst Booth, Hannah Street Lansing, and Harriet Dudley Bell. In the back there is Lillian Pike Everest. Up above here we have sisters uh, Mary S. Anthony and Susan B. Anthony, which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. Um, Mary Anthony was actually born in Battenville in Greenwich in Washington County um, when Susan and the family moved to Washington County, New York from Adams, Massachusetts when Susan was six years old. They lived in Washington County for quite a while. They both actually taught school in Washington County. And over here we have Inez Mulholland Blissevane and her sister Vida Mulholland. And Vida and Inez spent summers in Essex County at their father's childhood home. And we're going to move on down here. To our Warren County suffragists, the biggest city in Warren County being Glens Falls, New York, where our library is currently located. <clears throat> and here we have Anna Murray and Susan Bain, and they were the founders of the Glens Falls Political Equality Club around 1902-1903. <clears throat> we have some more members of the club. We have Dr. Annetta Barber, was actually born in Clinton County, but she spent most of her professional um, career as a physician here in Glens Falls. We have um, Adeline Walsh Bale and Celia Murray. And then we have Gertrude B. Ferguson here. And she was one of the first um, in the graduating class from Glens Falls High School. But she was also a librarian here at the library. And she was library director for quite a few years as well. <clears throat> For here, we have some other suffragists from around New York State. We have um, Susan Ames Dougie and her daughter, Mary Dougie Williams. And in the back, Sarah Smith. All three of these women were Albany County suffragists and they actually all voted in the 1880 election, school board elections in which was the first election women were allowed to vote in New York State in school board elections. And here we have Catherine Hulse Gavitt, who was active in the suffrage movement in Albany, but she was born in Greenwich, New York. Over here we have Alice Morgan Wright. And Alice was um, a sculptor, and she was born in Schenectady, or Albany, I'm sorry. Um, and she actually was involved with Emmeline Pankhurst's Women Political Union in England and was jailed in the, the famous London suffrage demonstration. Um, so she's one of 
one of the few um, New York suffragists who can actually be called a suffragette. Over here we have another sculptor um, locally who was, who was active in civil rights and suffrage, Edmonia Lewis. She is of um, Haitian, African, and Ojibwe descent and was born in Rensselaer, New York. Back here we have another Rensselaer County suffragist and another librarian, Beulah Bailey Thole. And Julia A.J. Foote was born in Schenectady and she was the first woman deacon of the African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church. Uh, another Schenectady suffragist, we have Harriet Leonard Colburn. Her mother was, uh, was a big suffragist, Cynthia Colburn, er, or Cynthia Leonard and her sister was Lillian Russell. And finally, over here, we have um, some other ladies from around the state. Um, Hester Jeffrey was active in the Rochester suffrage movement. She was also a member of the Needlework Guild of America. Back here, we have Catherine Wall McCullough. She was active in the suffrage movement in Illinois, but she was born in Ransomville, outside of Niagara Falls. Uh, Catherine Notman was um, a Brooklyn suffragist, but she had a summer home in Essex County um, in Keene Valley. Um, so she was actually the head of the, um, I believe it was the 11th campaign district during the Empire Campaign of 1915, trying to get um, women the right to vote in New York in 1915, which failed, but they were able to vote um, with the passage of um, voting in 1917. Here we have Helen Abo Cook, and her father was active in um, Timbuktu, which was the um, uh, Garrett Smith, uh, John Brown land tract in um, or near the Lake Placid area. Down here we have US, Eunice Newton Foote and she lived in Saratoga Springs for a number of years. Um, it was one of the original signers of the Declaration of Sentiments from the Seneca Falls Convention. She was also a scientist and was the first to publish findings of carbon dioxide and its effect on the climate. We have Harriet Tubman um, conductor on the Underground Railroad who lived the latter part of her life in Auburn and Keutica County. Um, Dr. Mabel Pingwa Lee was um, active in New York City and was actually um, in the 1912 suffrage parade at seven, when she was 16 years old. Catherine Helene Starbuck was a Saratoga County suffragist as well and she would later become um, Spent 33 years with Skidmore College, serving on the Board of Trustees as Executive Secretary and Professor. And finally, we have Sojourner Truth from Ulster County. Um, Sojourner Truth um, was a former slave and was active in temperance, abolition, suffer equal suffrage, and civil rights. So here we have it. Here is the exhibit. And once again, you can view the exhibit more extensively online at Crandall, C-R-A-N-D-A-L-L, -L, library.org. Just go to the Folklife Center tab and click on Folklife Gallery, and you can view the exhibit and read more extensively the bios of all of these New York State suffragists online.